everyone it's Beth uh, from Scrapping Wonders and um, also now from Rock Your Notebook um, what I'm doing today is I have been wanting to introduce a hot press watercolor paper into the shop as an insert because right now all I offer is cold press um, and I've been wanting to do this for a long time but I have been on the hunt for a cold press paper, I mean a hot press paper that would make sense price wise um, for the shop because hot press is way more expensive than cold press. Um, and I'm going to do a little bit more research, but I think I have found a hot press that will work for us. So this one here on the left is hot press and this one is cold press and the difference between the two of them is hot press is super smooth and cold press has a texture to it so if you've purchased let me see you see that texture um, if you have purchased insert watercolor inserts and then there's no texture oh my god I sound like a spaz right now <laughs> but if you have purchased from my shop inserts then you have worked on the cold press paper and you know how it functions. They are both 140 pound, they are both 300 GSM. And what I've got here is my Gonzai Tombi watercolors, the cold press, the hot press, and I'm just gonna do some playing so that we can see how they react. Um, these are also home my beautiful mop brushes which are just oh they make my heart happy um so I think I'm just gonna just I'm spraying down my my watercolors here it's always good to wet your palette and I think I'm just gonna uh, create some circles and we'll go from from there and see what happens um, And we'll see how they react on the different on the different um, papers. So what I will do is I will paint, and I will then put you on fast forward and. We'll see.
and um, here's my thoughts. I think that um, I have a small disclaimer here if you can hear children. Um, hubby is currently feeding them while I'm in here and um, it's Saturday so you know it's family time as well but here's my thoughts one the colors are way more vibrant on a hot press paper and they seem to sit on top of the paper more than they do on the cold press whereas cold press they seem to really sink into the paper um, and they look completely completely different I used the same colors um, for each circle here I did the same technique for each circle here and I have to say that I think I love the hot press way more than I love the cold press so I think for my own personal like watercolor play and watercolor inserts I will be switching over to the hot press one um, it's just it's so different it's it's I don't know I don't know how to explain it um, I can tell you the hot press one will be more expensive because the paper itself is more expensive so it's more of me trying to recoup the costs of my paper uh, and purchasing the paper as for, than making the insert um, so yeah the hot press insert will be more pricey um, I haven't decided on a price yet but it will definitely be pricier than the cold press paper but again, that is because it is way more expensive than the cold press paper. I love it though. Absolutely love it. And it will be introduced into the shop shortly here. I will, um, hopefully tomorrow, I can get it up in the shop at rockyournotebook.com. Um, I know it might be a little confusing for some with the Scrapping Wonders and the Rock Your Notebook, but I felt that changing the name for my shops really made sense. Um, Scrapping Wonders isn't going anywhere. I still scrapbook. I still own that site. That's still me. But Rock Your Notebook is all about rocking your notebook and using it and having fun with it. And um, that's what I want my shop name to be known for. So that's why the whole name change is coming about for Rock Your Notebook slash Scrapping Wonders. I'm still the same person, still will be sharing all of this type of information with you all. But I hope you enjoyed this video between the difference of the hot press and the cold press. Um, I would love to know your thoughts about this in the comments, so please leave me some comments. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. Uh, be sure to give my video a thumbs up if you liked it. And um, I will leave a link below to my new favorite, favorite mop brushes as well as my Kurataki um, Kanzai watercolors. All right. Bye.